Hi, I'm Peter from Tips and Tricks HQ. In today's video tutorial, we're going to look at how to integrate Google Custom Search into your WordPress site. Although WordPress is probably the best and most flexible blogging platform and content management system, the default search engine functionality is not very good. But we all know for a fact that Google is the best search engine maker. So why not combine the best search engine with the best blogging platform? And that's exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial, by integrating Google Custom Search with your WordPress site. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing we will need to do is go to the Google Custom Search home page, which can be found at google.com slash CSE. Then from this page, just click the Create a Custom Search Engine button. Next, we will log in with our relevant Google account details. Now if you don't have a Google account, simply create one for yourself by clicking on the link which says sign up for a new Google account. Then go ahead and log in to your Google custom search page. OK, so after we've logged into our Google custom search account, we will see the following page which will guide us through the setup process. So let's start filling in the details. First, we'll enter a name for our Google Custom Search Engine. So in my case, I'll just simply put my test blog search engine. And next, I'll enter a description. So I'll just put a brief line. That should do. And in the next section, you choose the language for the type for your search engine. So we leave ours as um, in English. And then in the next part, we will need to specify the URL address of our WordPress site. So in here, I'll put the address of my test blog site. And finally, we will select the edition of the Google Custom Search Engine which we'll use. Now, for our example, we'll choose the standard edition because it's free, but it will display some ads on the pages with your search results, which is really just a minor inconvenience. And then finally, we will click on the Terms and Conditions checkbox, and then we'll click the Next button. So that will take us to this page, which allows us to customize the style of our search box and search results. But for this example, we'll leave it at the default setting and click the Next button. So now we're offered some code to paste into our site. But we're not finished with our setup just yet, so we'll ignore this code for now, but we'll click on the Look and Feel link, which can be found at the top right-hand side of this page. So once we're in the Look and Feel control panel, we'll select the two-page layout. And once we've done that, we'll click on the Save and Get Code button. So now we're in the section which contains the pieces of code which we can use to paste into our WordPress site. But first up, we'll need to enter some settings. So firstly, we'll leave the protocol to the default setting. And next, in the Specify Search Results Details, we'll enter our WordPress site's URL address. Then, we'll set the query parameter to the letter S, which is a parameter which WordPress uses when querying its database. So now we're ready to use the code. Now, if you scroll down further, you'll notice that there are two separate pieces of code. The first snippet contains the code of the Google search box, which will be the form you will display somewhere on your WordPress site. This code can go into a widget or the header.php file or anywhere you want your search form to appear. The second snippet is the code which will display the search results. 
Now, if you can recall earlier, we selected the two-page format in our settings. This means that Google Custom Search will display the results on a separate page. Now, this snippet of code will go into a file called search.php, and most themes have this file, which lives in the active theme directory. This file will need to be modified as we'll see later. So let's leave this page open for now and we'll use an FTP client to log into our WordPress site. So we've logged into our WordPress site using our FTP client, which in our case is FileZilla, and we've traversed to the theme directory. In this example, I'll be using the 2010 theme, which is the standard WordPress theme. Earlier I mentioned that there will be one file called search.php in which we will paste one of the Google custom search code snippets into. As we scroll down in the 2010 theme directory, you can see that this file is here. So let's FTP the search.php file from our WordPress host to our computer so that we can start making our changes to it. So we'll simply drag the file from the right hand pane onto the left hand side. And now, using a text editor, we need to modify the search.php file which we transferred earlier. So let's go ahead and open that file now. So what we need to do here is to replace all of the code between the if statement which checks for any blog posts. So in other words, we'll replace everything in this section with the second snippet of code from the Google site. So let's go back to our Google page. And then let's select the second snippet of code. Now we'll copy it by right clicking and selecting copy. Now let's go back to our editor and selecting all of the code between the if statement we will now paste this code. Okay so now we'll save our file and we're ready to upload this file to our WordPress host. So now we're back at our FTP client window. Before we transfer our modified search.php file from our computer to the WordPress host, it's always a good idea to either back your site up or at the very least make a copy of any original files you have modified. So in our case we modified the search.php file, so what I'll do is on my WordPress host in the FTP client window I'll rename this file by adding a suffix to it like this. So I'll scroll down. and I'll select the file which is the search.php file and I'll right click and select rename and then I'll add a suffix to it in my case it'll be orig or o-r-i-g so now if I mess anything up I can always replace the messed up file by deleting it and then renaming this file back to, to its original name. We're now ready to transfer our file back to our host so we'll just drag the search file from our computer back to the host. So we're now ready to go to our WordPress site to continue on with our modifications. So now we've logged into our WordPress admin dashboard and what we'll do next is click on the widget section of the administration panel. Then we'll select a text widget from the available widgets and drag it onto the sidebar. So what we want to do now is to paste the first snippet of code, which was the search form code from the Google Custom Search Engine page, into this widget. So let's go back to our Google Custom Search page and select the first snippet of code. And we'll copy this by right-clicking, selecting Copy. 
then we'll go back to our WordPress admin panel and select the text area and paste the code in there. What we may also want to do is put a title on our search widget. We could call this something like search my test blog. So we'll save this and now we're ready to observe our changes on our web page. Using our browser we've gone to our WordPress test site and as you can see our newly integrated Google custom search box is displayed in the sidebar. So let's now go ahead and perform a search. And as shown the results are displayed in their own separate page and they also include some Google Ads at the very top. One thing you should be aware of is that only the pages of your WordPress site which have been indexed by Google will be displayed in the search results. Meaning that if you've just recently made some changes to your site or added new posts then you may need to wait till these changes are crawled by the Google Spider before they are reflected in your search results. And that's all you need to do as far as integrating Google Custom Search into your WordPress blog. Before I go, I wanted to mention an alternative method of using Google Search in your WordPress site. And that is to use Google Search for AdSense. To use this method, you will need an AdSense account, and if you don't have one, you can sign up for one by clicking the Sign Up Now button. This type of search method is handy because you can earn money from the Google Ads which are displayed with the search results whenever somebody clicks on them, whereas with the previous method which we've just seen, this is not possible. And that concludes today's video tutorial. I hope you found it useful and please stay tuned for more of our tutorials at Tips and Tricks HQ. Bye for now.